Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, wherever you guys, just stay safe. The pandemic situation has still not uh, um, still not gotten over, um, and I'm pretty sure most of us have gone through a very tough time. Uh, some of us might have also lost their loved ones. Uh, so wherever you are, stay safe. Um, I I wish you um, a healthy and a safe. Uh, duration or I would say uh, a safe uh, pandemic uh, I hope nothing goes wrong with you to stay safe uh, make sure you follow the guidelines which is set up by your, your government uh, I am very much sure that um, things are going to be soon every, everything back to normal make sure you get vaccinated if you're not so guys take care of yourself so um, coming back to my uh, progress in the game so I don't know how many of you have actually seen uh, my previous video uh, today is more of an informational video and I'll tell you a lot of things what I did because um, I've been playing a lot so if you guys check the stats uh, there you go okay I have actually played this game for 27 hours plus so if you can see um, on the screen which is displayed right now we have um, we have actually played a lot of game uh, but you remember if you've seen uh, my previous videos I've always mentioned whenever it's an RPG game I like to do a lot of side missions or probably farm uh, what I mean by farm is like you know I upgrade uh, a lot of stuff and then I you know walk down to the main story because um, I, I don't I don't believe in uh, playing the game again um, obviously if there are more DLCs uh, downloadable content or um, anything different that has come up in the game which I uh, personally like I, I definitely love to play the same but um, the only challenge here is um, nowadays you have games where you can you know restart the game again and you can still have stuff from your previous game like armors like weapons you know um, any any skills any features you can move on and you know just start in the next mode and obviously the next mode you can set up the difficulties obviously there are new challenges a lot of stuff um, okay So the reason why I wanted to make this more of an informational video is because I want you guys to catch up um, you know what we have done. So if you check out the map, um, if you see this, this was the major chunk um, that I was into you know when the actually game started. So I have pretty much done everything possible here, um, not everything but yeah uh, a few things that I can still do but um, I was more interested to you know break the game what I mean by break the game is to get the best stuff uh, in the game and then you know move on with the main missions so um, if you check my quest uh, I've still not completed uh, the site the main missions which is pretty early in the game it's, it's very early uh, mark my words guys this is very early and um, I, I actually have not even um, played this this section so before that I really wanted to craft a lot of things um, I'll show you my skills so this are the skills which um, I have actually acquired uh, again uh, after playing certain missions um, now there there are two important things what I have understood um, which is very early in the game uh, the first thing is crafting so obviously we know what uh, what crafting is um, you would have to get your carry capacity increased as much as possible in the early stage of the game where you can carry a lot of stuff and you can experiment so if you check there is only one uh, potion pouch which I have actually not looked into uh, that is something which I could have achieved but I, I didn't you know I was more focused on everything else so I pretty much max out everything now I can carry more stuff you know do a lot of crazy stuff um, if you see under inventory, I have actually acquired um, the blue weapons, but yes, I have still not got the purple weapons, which I really want to go ahead with. So um, that's something which I really want. Skills, yes, 
there are a lot of skills which I want to but to be honest with you probably you can look at the screen and take a snapshot or maybe you know these are really important skills that you have to get early in the game it's very very important silent kill uh, we have hunters reflexes where, where your concentration uh, is over as in the concentration bar is over uh, the only way you can do it like you can aim and you can jump or you can slide and that give that slows down the time and it, it gives you a more accurate shot um, apart from that if you see I have um, actually taken in heavy lift where I can lift certain things um, like especially the weapons which are dropped by um, bigger machines meaner machines or the weapons which are carried by other tribe um, you know obviously will go in the game and will will further understand it so um, that's one thing which I wanted and obviously if I didn't unlock this I could have couldn't have gone to the next step which is the concentrate faster reload yes very much important no doubts um, I mean it helps you to faster reload um, you can um, drop in a few shots but if you don't have faster reload it's very slow even though if you use concentrate you can just go for a few shots okay lure call is one more thing which is very important I've stopped using uh, the distraction option where which is the stone so I really don't use the stone anymore to you know um, distract the machines I I pretty much use lower um, heal is something obviously you need it no doubts resources yes um, now this skill is very much important because I needed it to uh, gather more and more of resources now the reason why I needed it more because I need to um, you know max out my stuff um, what I mean by that is max out my carrying capacity now in order to uh, you know upgrade your carrying capacity you need shards and okay which I can show you in this one I have not so if you see metal shards are something which you really really require now the only way you can get metal shards is by destroying machines nothing else uh, or probably some dead machines which you find around the game um, if you kill some people but majority of them you'll find when you kill the machines now uh, having said that um, the other uh, yeah so you have a level one and then you go to level two so in level two obviously you'll find more and more uh, stuff so it's a higher chance for you uh, ammo crafting uh, it's again something good um, so it, it, it crafts additional ammo uh, with the same amount of resources like the resources required is less and it crafts more and more of ammo this is one more skill I mean this is another traveler section um, mount is very important no doubts about it uh, then there is an option where every time you don't have to go to um, the merchant to buy stuff you can actually clear out stuff from your bin as in from your carrying pouches um, and you know you can have shads um, against that so that is one thing I really loved and I wanted that the next thing is uh, expert craving now this is also very much important if you're farming I repeat this is very much important when you're doing farming the reason for that is um, all this uh, carrying uh, pouches that you have they all required unique animal skin or probably bone uh, meat uh, rich meat fatty meat so if I need to acquire them I mean again I can show an example here you see this it says raccoon skin now the reason why I went out for the skill because it would give me more I mean the possibilities of me getting more skin more bone or heart or lens of a, uh, of a machine is uh, double the times so probably every alternate kills which I have I do get something special now according to me this were the skills which were very important but in the game obviously um, the next targets which I have um, probably have not decided yet you know let me um, let me play the game a little bit now um, probably that's when you know I could decide what I can go for but as of now I think we are good um, today uh, I am going to show you how I actually got my uh, or I am gonna you know break the game now the reason is because of this armor so this armor that that you see is uh, is a legendary armor that uh, the game provides and uh, the best part about this uh, this armor is that uh, it's unbeatable what I mean by that it actually um, saves you from a lot of stuff now what I mean by a lot of stuff it saves me from uh, 
fire damage, uh, freeze damage, corrupt damage, um, range attack, uh, melee attack. You, you you say it and and this armor is saving you from everything. No doubts about it. So obviously we'll see that in the game as well um, as we go more uh, ahead in the map. So that is one thing I would show you and then probably I'll move to this tall neck. Tall neck is something which I have um, which I've noticed but I have not played. So I really want to go to the tall neck. Uh, it's a it's a very cool looking machine. Um, I actually want to go there and, and see what can be done. Um, let's see. So I'm here right now. The one thing what I wanted to show you about is or, or the last piece of information what I wanted to show uh, here is um, how to get more shots. Now there are hunting grounds which you would find uh, if you see uh, last to last video if you see the last thing that I located was a hunting ground where there was special um, tasks being provided to you and if you complete those tasks you would actually be rewarded. Now I completed uh, the first hunting ground all the three um, obviously after a few attempts I didn't I didn't actually um, you know went through everything at one go. So if I come to this place, okay, there's the keeper. Okay, one more important thing guys, wherever you find the camp, please do a quick save. It's always good because you can travel there. And uh, at one of the merchants, I actually got a special item. So that special item is, uh, where is it, where is it? Uh, should be under my resources. Yeah, it should be under my resources. Oh, the very first one, do you see this? The very first one says golden fast travel pack. Now, using this, I never ever have to craft for any other travel um, packs. So, technically the travel packs which I have down here, uh, this one, seven. So, every time I use one, I have to craft a new one. I don't need it anymore. Because if I buy this one, I can actually travel anywhere. Uh, what I mean by travel, as you know, um, this... Uh, the, the small place that you can see here is where you can save your game so if I check the map all the ones which are green all the ones which are green see wherever I go I find one and you know I make sure that it's lit so if it's lit I can come back here using the fast travel pack I don't have to spend resources to keep on creating stuff again so very much important uh, and yes now that we are we are at a very better stage to play the game and you know probably break the game uh let's see i mean um i have I actually proved myself in these trials i should practice be square yeah i have actually practiced um, a lot and if you can see this weapons was something that you know i didn't have so i have unlocked a lot of things um, and i'm pretty sure we're gonna have more fun so please give a thumbs up comment subscribe this was all the information that i noticed in the game so 27 plus hours in the game and uh, i'm pretty much aware now what needs to be done now let's see how this game goes beyond this so let me show you what or how i actually gathered more and more shots so you go to this keeper and you start your trials um it depends on you if you wish to complete the trials or not to wish complete the trials you didn't succeed so do you see there are three trials that were given to me okay so i actually completed all of them and if you can see um the three icons which you can see now the orange icon says if you complete the task in 20 minutes um the green icon i guess it's for two minutes four minutes it depends on the mission and the very first one it's a very uh, short time you know uh, probably a minute or 40 seconds or you know it, it depends on your task so you have to complete them and you get resources if you come back here if you you know complete the same task again you should be getting more and more rewards which you can do multiple times now the thing that i've noticed here that i actually can get more shots through the first option now i'll show you how just i mean i i just want you to please look into it and uh, hope you like it so before we start um i'm just gonna make sure that my voice quality and no noise quality is fine. Give me a few seconds, guys, okay? Uh, 
I hope you guys can hear me loud and clear uh, shouldn't be a problem but even though if there is probably I'll make another video uh, you know my headset went bad um, I hope this one is better I got a new one okay so let's go through Test this your skill with bow and arrow by shooting parts off the backs of grazers as quickly as possible I like that one slide down a rope and I'll start timing okay so as soon as you slide down the rope the time starts um, if you see on the left hand side it says remove canisters uh, from grazers now grazers are those uh, um, you know long looking animals if you see this so this are the canisters you'll find four canisters on every one of them and you will actually find uh, watches there I guess there are three watches here and uh, the thing that you have to do here is to make sure um, technically or uh, effectively what you have to do here is you you have to uh, obviously take them down one by one or you have to take at least 10 of them okay now if you can't take them down uh, then obviously you would have to come back and retry so after I completed all the missions after I completed everything now what I have uh, actually done here is uh, probably uh, a trick so I'll show you what I do or what I have been doing. So do you see the timer has started? Um, it shows that 10 canisters, one and a half minutes. So I don't go for the canisters um, with the normal arrow. So I actually go with um, the fire arrow. Now if you actually hit the canister with the fire and arrow, it actually uh, it creates a blast. Uh, that's what it does. That's so what? Yeah. So. The things what you have to do here is, and, and to be honest with you, even the watches uh, pretty much die. Now, check this out. So, I think there's a watcher behind me. Yes. That's not about Easy boy. Easy boy. So sometimes um, it depends what or where this um, animals are. Uh, depending on that, you can take all of them in one go or not. So you see, it's down. So hit the canisters and you're all good. Now, if I go down here, you would see there are so many dead loot. So many. Now, don't worry about the time. If you have al already finished the game, you're good. If you have not, uh, or if you have not finished the trial, it depends on you if you want to, you know, actually go for the trial or not. But this is how I actually collected more and more of shads. Now. This helps me a lot in uh, upgrading. So all of my carrying pouches, I would say I actually made sure that I got the shads from here. Um, obviously you have to do a few runs um, and when you're playing such a game, you should be ready to play the game again and again. So if you want, probably you can go back and hunt the others who actually went this side. Uh, let's see where they are. Uh, probably not in the range yeah there it is okay now you see these guys so, so they go back and they do the usual stuff that's one that's three that's the boom so they all should be down now once you take down all the machines obviously you'll get a message on the top not more available machines um, uh, uh, Yeah for some reason the reason why mum is because I could hear a, f hear a few more machines besides me I don't know why uh, well definitely the sound quality is uh, awesome for this particular headset that I have purchased 
Okay, anyways, um, oh, there you go, there's a rabbit. Okay, so you guys see, this is due to the skill. Now, usually, um, the green ones are the bones and the blue ones are the skins. Um, if you see white on top here, so for example, this is green, right? So you definitely know it's a bone. And if you see it, it's in blue, then it's definitely a skin. Now, let's say if it's a white one, it's a normal uh, meat, um, rich meat or fatty meat, it depends um, what what animal you're hunting. Uh, can I? Uh, it's too far away. It's too far away. Mm, obviously, I have to upgrade my bow as, as well. I, I actually can't go for um, long range attacks. It's really difficult. So, um, I've tried. I've actually tried, guys. Uh, it's not that I've not tried. But, uh, and okay, there's one more thing. Here, you would actually find a lot of resources as well. Now, I'm not only talking about uh, the basic ones. I'm talking about... Um, uh, the stuff that you can use to make potions. So obviously in this game there is another section where you can make potions. Now the potions are quite cool. It actually helped me out uh, in certain situations where I had to take, you know, uh, take down a few bigger machines where I, I had used a lot of potions. Now if you see there was, uh, there are certain potions that I just collected. Um, oh, sorry, not potions, but certain uh, herbs or roots or whatever you call them. Um, I've collected them and that will help me out to, you know, um, that up later. make more potions. So I just come to the crafting part, you know, I go to the potion section. Um, see, you, I actually need three fatty meat and three uh, bony meat. Then health potion, I need three fatty meat. Um, so these are the potions. And obviously I can create them. Okay, fire resist, I I can do. Uh, that was one. Now obviously I need uh, shockwave roots and freeze. Um, similarly, you know, it depends on which potion you want to use. They are very useful, no doubts about it. Uh, but yeah, um, I have been uh, regularly using them and it's, it's good. It's good to have them um, when you're playing the game. So that's all I wanted to show you, uh, you know, how you can get more shards. Uh, the reason why I wanted to climb up here because um, there are actually fish in the game as well. So uh, I don't think so. Oh, I can. I can. <laughs> so I don't know if I can show you. Uh, is this a fish? Yeah, that's a fish. Uh, let's see if we have any here. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's a rat. I'm pretty sure that has to be a rat. Yeah, that's a rat. This this was very tough uh, to, for me because I had to find. Um, I guess it was a rat bone uh, and a skin as well. So uh, it it was a nightmare. Okay, so do you see the salmon? That's how you kill a salmon, and that's green. So I'm, I've got a fish bone. Now obviously this fish bone and. Uh, um, any other bone or any other skin of any animals that you hunt, they are very valuable and I mean it. So if you go to the merchant um, and, and pretty much sell them, you get a lot of shards, um, no doubts about it. But again, um, I didn't bother for it, reason being because I was more into, um, you know, using them for crafting um, and that really worked out. So, um, as I promised guys, that was the information I wanted to share you guys. Uh, now, let's go here. I always wanted to check out what's this uh, tall neck all about. Uh, come on, Piggy. Early in the game, don't, don't waste your arrows. Don't waste your arrows because obviously you need metal shafts to create arrows or make arrows. Um, check this out. So, the normal arrows, it it uses one metal shard okay so again early in the game um, it's not that beneficial you know to actually uh, use more and more and arrows so try to get the spear uh, mission completed obviously it's a side quest so get that one done first and then probably you can you know um, 
use more and more of spear instead of using more and more of uh, arrows. Um, you would understand further in the game because I've noticed that myself. Okay, so let's move ahead and see what animal machine we come across. Tall neck is something I really wanted to play. So, ah, uh, there we go. That's the tall neck. Uh, do we have any machines around? What's that? That turkey? No, it's a raccoon. Um, okay. I must be closing in on the signal. Usually there are machines here. But I don't find any machines. That's strange. Um, I don't know. Pro probably, I mean, I did take out a few machines here the last time I was here. So I was farming. So I was, I was actually hunting here for, you know, animals and fox. Uh, turkey you would actually find a lot of lot of animals around obviously they will uh, respawn again so um, I had come across a couple of uh, I guess it was a uh, it was a few watches if I'm correct a few watches and uh, there was a sawtooth uh, if I'm correct um, in the earlier videos you remember when Aloy uh, moves out of uh, uh, one of the doors yeah so she actually runs across a door and uh, she goes towards a uh, okay there are certain machines here come oh, on that's a grazer that's a grazer climb up to the tall neck's head oh so this is what I have to do okay that's my mission ah there we go that's a watcher that's a watcher. Uh, so that's it. So I'm gonna save the game here. Um, the watcher is inside there. Uh, where's the other watcher? Okay. Yeah, but I really want to take down the watchers first. There were two, right? Yeah, that's one. Oh, there are three. Uh... What's that? expecting anything like such okay these are the small missions that you actually come across um, anyways so um, I mean these are the collectibles you know you can go here in the note and you see data points you will see a lot of voice notes you'll see a lot of voice message uh, this are spread across the entire map so it depends on you uh, if you wish to collect I actually collected this two and I actually collected this one because uh, I hope you remember there were certain maps uh, that I was able to purchase with one of the merchants and that's the reason why. Okay, so without wasting any more time, let's uh, play across. Oh, there are more. Oh, there's the one. There's I don't need to hide though, to be honest with you, because... Uh, I've got an armor um, that is something which is uh, oh man. Let's get this over with. So if you see, if I jump, it freezes time. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, that's the other one. Oh, we have one more. That's gonna be fun. That's one down. I have another one here. Oh, just missed. Let's 
found. Whoa! Okay. Thanks, God. And I had this armor. I'm gonna take you down. Four, done. I'm just gonna collect whatever I get. You know, I... No matter what you say, um, I always like uh, hitting stuff. No doubts about it. Uh, where's the other one? I killed three, right? One was here. Uh, one was here. Uh, okay, yeah, there was one here. Okay, so that's the part. Uh, Okay, now I guess so. Uh, I had the tall neck quest. Where did it go? Okay, there are two. Oh, this is the one which I wanted. Okay, that's the one. Hmm. How would I? How would I get there? Uh, okay. Jump. Okay. I have to jump? I should be able to jump onto the tall neck over here. Mm, there you go. So that's what we have to do. Okay, let's go, boy! Oh, this okay. is cool. Time to climb up to its head. This is cool. Let's climb, Eloy. Okay, we have one here. So now we're okay, yeah. That's it. Oh, so I can override it. Easy there. It shouldn't take long. Did die. I oh man, I thought that the armor would save me. So I'm sorry, guys, my bad. I thought the armor would save me, that's what I thought. But I think it was it was it was the height. I mean, obviously, the armor would save me, um, you know, during certain jumps, but uh, I think it was the height was like uh, too big. So, okay, I do we have to do it all over again? But, uh, yeah, I think so, because that was my last checkpoint. Uh, oh, no, I completed it. Yeah, I completed it. Yeah, cool. So that's something which I don't need to do again. But where is the tall neck? Why can't I see the tall neck? Where is it? I'm not too worried about this, guys. I could hear the tall neck, but I can't see him. That's crazy. Okay. Ah, there we go. So, I think I know what happened. So, if I unlock the tall neck, or probably I override the tall neck, you see the entire location is visible. That's cool. Okay, there you go. There's a tall neck here. I guess these are the hunting grounds, I guess. Yeah, these are the hunting grounds. Uh, no, these are the hunting grounds. Uh, campfire. This are oh, undiscovered. Uh, the blue ones, I, it looks like they are important. Uh, bandit camp, corrupt zones, collectibles, settlements, ancient runics, ruins, undiscovered. Okay. So at least I know what happens. Oh, okay. This is one machine that I really am looking forward to take down. But again, not now. Uh, okay, these are certain figures, collectibles, which you need to get. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get some sh uh, shards out of it. Uh, I believe that's all about it. Nothing more. So let's go to the notebook, uh, the data point, and 
let's see what new have we got okay this is the one which was new I don't want to take out this guys. That's simple. Okay, so what do we have in resources? Yeah, something that we found out. Okay. So two skill points I've got. Now probably what we can do here is we can actually move on to one of uh, one of the active missions. We'll actually go live with an active mission. Uh, okay, there's one more thing I forgot to tell you guys. Um, this is also a very important section where you where you can earn more and more of XP. So, uh, if you see the level, um, currently Aloy, uh, I'm at level 23. Now, do you see that blue bar um, at the bottom and do you see the 13,550? Now, those are my points which I earn, you know, the XP point. Like kill something or do something. XP's are earned throughout the game. You kill an animal, you get 25, if I'm correct. Then machines, the you know the more you proceed then the more missions you played so every mission actually has uh, a high value of skill points uh, and XP points which will eventually unlock your skill points so what I used to do here is I actually used to go for uh, uh, a lot of trials now you check this out uh, do you see this trials uh, tutorials so I had so many machine um, new weapons that I, I had unlocked what I used to do here is I used to use them. I used to use them and if you see 3000, 3000, 2170. So these are all the XP's that you can earn. So um, I, I really felt it was good uh, for me. And that's one of the reasons why I used to you know come around here and make a lot of stuff. So um, one more thing that you should remember you know while doing it. Uh, we will start with a new session um, you know I'll just play one more um, main mission you know just to uh, continue the uh, uh, stretch so and I'll definitely add them both so let's let's stop here I just want to stop here as of now and the next video that you will uh, view or check it would be one of the main missions so thank you so much guys for tuning in um, Please provide me feedback. Oh, there's the tall neck. There you go. So, please provide me feedback. I really appreciate you helping me out so far. Um, please keep on liking the videos and uh, provide your valuable comments. So, share it to your friends, family who are really interested in games, who really like to be, you know, um, uh, exploring more and more of games. So, this is again something which uh, which is a very old game. I would say it's like four years old game which I'm playing right now. But uh, as I've told you several times, I'm only playing this because the new one is coming out next month, and I really want to get a hang of it. I've already pre-ordered, to be honest with you. So I'm waiting for it, uh, and I hope so by that time we can finish this game and try to finish as much as possible in this game. We we do have probably over a month to go, and if you see the map. This is just one section of the map. We have to go this section. We have to complete this section. Um, gonna be fun. Okay, so thank you so much. Uh, and please tune in. Um, please provide me uh, any feedback that you have. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you so much. And adios.